Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell, and I'm doing this video because in a few hours I will be going to the airport where I'm going to be going to Orlando for a wedding and then to San Diego for a business conference. And I'll be gone for a little over a week. And I wanted to do a video today before I left. One, because you never know if, you know, their plane doesn't make it there. Plane's going to make it there. But you just never know. And also because I wanted to talk about something tonight. Um, other than the fact that because I'm wearing the sunglasses, because I'm going to two places that are normally supposed to be pretty sunny. Although Orlando is supposed to rain all weekend and San Diego is supposed to be sunny. So at least I get half of it. But last week... Late last week, or heck, it may have even been, yeah, it was late last week. I was looking at uh, one of the local news stories. You know, Oprah Winfrey came to Syracuse. All these people keep coming to Syracuse while I'm out of town. Uh, and I'm just missing everyone, but that won't be for much longer. Anyway, Oprah Winfrey came to town because Syracuse University was opening up a new media center, and she came for that. And then she met uh, this lady who I don't know. My wife knows her and some other friends that we know know her, but I've never met this lady. And she runs some program on the south side of Syracuse, and Oprah wrote her a check for $100,000 to help the program. I mean, this is just positive. There's nothing bad that anyone should ever be able to think about something like this because the south side of Syracuse, you know, it's not one of the better areas, and it really needs development to get more people to live there. Um, it's got a lousy tax base. So this is very positive stuff. And I applaud Oprah for anything that she does along these lines. So one of the things I really hate is I hate looking at comments in online newspapers. I really do because, you know, you just see some of the most negative stuff. But I'm looking at this story and I'm saying, okay, this has to be good. Who could find anything to complain about? There's always one. And there was one guy who said, Hmm, she always seems to be giving money to only people of one race. Really? Are you kidding me? Now, luckily for me, someone responded to him. And what she said is, what? White people don't only give money to people of one race? Thank you so much for that. You know, what is it with people? Why do people have to hate in general? Where do these people come from? I, I really don't get it. I don't understand the benefit someone has to just be negative all the time when there's no reason to be. Now, I'm not going to pick on my friend Scott Craighead in this regard. You know, he did a video and he was talking about, you know, how people are hating on his channel because he talks about all this bad stuff that goes on or whatever. And people say, well, why are you always being so negative about everything? Such as said, whatever, whatever, whatever. And they're actually kind of missing the point. And I understand his point greatly. When he is negative, he's not negative just for the sake of being negative. He's pointing out negatives in certain things. Are there certain things that are negative? Yeah. Is racism a negative thing? Yes. When I've ever talked about racism on this channel or on my business channel, I don't talk about it in glowing terms because <laughs> there's no such thing as a glowing term about racism. It's a horrible thing. Beating children, sexual abuse, you name it. If it's a bad thing, it's a bad thing. And you're going to talk about it in a bad way. And you're going to put it down and say, you know, that mess has to stop. So, you know, along that line, there you go. Now, if someone does something good and all you can think of is something bad about it, now you've got problems. You really have an issue with life and living. And I'm not going to say that, you know, you should go out and commit suicide. I'm not going to say that. I'm just saying maybe you should just remove yourself from the human race. Go find yourself an island. Go move to Antarctica, put up a tent, and stay by yourself, and leave everyone else alone. You know, what is it about haters? Why do people have to hate on your dreams? They have to hate on your goals. They have to hate because people like you. And because people like you, they hate you. What is that about? I've never understood that. People don't believe me when I tell them this. I have never been jealous of anybody in my life. Never. Now, have I been envious of some people? Yeah. Why? Because now I want to work hard to try to get there. And I always think that there are some levels of people, you know, that people have in certain things. You say, you know what? I want to get there or I want to be better. And so I used to spend a whole lot of hours playing basketball and playing all these sports or whatever. And I got pretty good so that you know, anyone my size, I could beat at pretty much anything. <laughs> and I've won some, some events in a lot of different sports. But 
I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I probably could have been pro in anything. Well, okay, I could have been a professional baseball player if I hadn't hurt myself. It happens. But for a lot of other things, mm -mm, it, it just wouldn't have got there. But you know what? I got better than most people that I knew at a lot of things. And so, you know, but I've never been envious. If someone was better at me than something, good for them. If someone makes more money than I make, good for them. If, you know, I have no problems. I have a friend of mine locally, and he's always kind of telling me about all these things that he's going to do and whatever, whatever, whatever. And I tell him all the time, I hope you do it. And he says, well, I'm going to show you. And, you know, you're going to have to look at me in a different voice. No, I won't. <laughs> and I tell him this all the time, and I, I just don't think he believes me. But I'm not going to look at him any different except to say, all right, you did it. Congratulations. You know, I glory when people do good things. I, you know, I'm happy about that. There's some people I wish wouldn't do good things, but, <laughs> you know, that's a here nor there thing. But overall, if someone does something good, if someone achieves something and they get some glory, all right, good for them. Why? Because I'm still shooting for good things. I want that $10 million in the bank that I talk about all the time. Got a long way to go. Got a really long way to go. But I talk about that all the time. And when I get that $10 million in the bank, because I'm, I'm going to get that, I'm going to be proud of myself. Now, I'm not going to be stupid and tell everybody I got $10 million in the bank, but I think some people are going to know, hey, I, I think that guy's got some money that he's not telling us about. And that's okay. I don't mind that. But I don't want people to start hating on me just because I now have money. What's that about? So, so you're mad because I was able to make a success of myself to make some money? And people like to say, well, when people start making money, they change. No, people don't change. Now, there are some changes. There are some things that happen. For instance, I have noticed that when some people get a lot of money, other people think, oh, you should be giving me some of that money. Look at all you have. You should just give it to me. I'm sorry. No. No one is entitled to that kind of money. Maybe your children. Maybe your mother. You know, maybe. I don't know the relationship you might have. My mother would be entitled to anything she wanted. I'm just telling you that right now. But, and my wife too. I don't want to leave her out. But, you know, no one else that I know, my, my good friends, close friends, whatever, they're not entitled. Doesn't mean I may not give them something just because I like to share with my friends different things here and there. But no one's entitled to anything. The, you know, this is not the kind of guy who's going to have a, what do you call it? Oh, my God. I'm not going to have a pack of people following me around doing all this stuff for nothing. Just hanging on to me and let me spend the money. Oh, no, 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 no ain't going to happen. Now, some people could say, oh, look, you changed, you did all this. I'm sorry, I didn't do that now. <laughs> it doesn't happen now. So I certainly didn't change. And I'm not saying that, you know, I would never talk to any of my friends again. Yes, there's a lot of motivational stuff that says that if you want to progress, you have to be willing to drop all of your friends and whatever. I don't necessarily believe that, but I do believe that there are those times where you're going to start to see that some of those people who you thought were your friends really aren't. You know, people who are going to hate on you because you've now surpassed them and they never saw that coming. And that's just a terrible thing. So, you know, I'm saying this today because I can't stand these people who don't like the successes other people are having. And I think that more people should be happy for people who do well. Now, if some of those people start acting like a jerk, I understand not liking them for being a jerk. But like a conversation I was having with someone at lunch today... I said, you know, I am never mad at anybody for the money they make because someone obviously thought they were worth that. Otherwise, they wouldn't have given them that money. And if you're able to give someone a whole lot of money, you're probably making a ton more. That's just my logic. So let me ask you, am I wrong in the way I think about haters? And by the way, I hope you check out that link that I put to my friend Scott's video. His language is a little colorful. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Be warned. Because Mitchell doesn't use any of that kind of language. Never have, never will. But, you know what? He speaks from the heart. And there you have it. So, you know, I think, like I said, if you see that in a different way, you're going to see that he's just not the angry young man running around all the time. And I almost hate to say that because I'm actually twice his age. And that really depresses me <laughs> to no end. And I pick on him from time to time. But he knows my heart's in the right place. Um, you know? we've got to learn how to get along with each other and we've got to learn how to be nice to each other. And I don't want anyone hating on me because I'm going to Orlando, a place I've never been, 
And I'm not going to Disney. I'm going to Universal because I want to see the Harry Potter stuff. Yeah, okay. So I got a little bit of nerd. I can't help myself. And San Diego, it, you know, a trip to California. I've actually been in California three times, but I've never left an airport. So this would be the first time I actually leave an airport. It should be interesting. And, of course, I will talk about it on one of these channels because Mitchell just got to talk. So, anyway, I hope you all have a good week. Let me know what you think about haters. What do you, you know, think about that? Do you think that, for the most part, they're valid or are they trolls? You know, what's your thought? Do you appreciate people who do well? Let me know. And y'all take care.